Hello guys, in this episode I will show you how to jailbreak the new 2.1 firmware for the iPod Touch or iPhone. And it, this is not 2.0.1, but 2.1. Um, it just came out September 8th or 9th, I think. And um, I'll just show you this quick and easy tutorial, and I'll jailbreak it using QuickPone. And um, it's pretty easy, so uh, let's get your iPod ready and uh, we'll start jailbreaking. Once you are on your computer, you're going to need to connect your iPod to your computer and wait for iTunes to automatically pop up. So, I'm just going to connect to my iPod right now. My computer has just detected my iPod, um, and iTunes is uh, starting up. Okay, so now that iTunes is all up, um, it's starting to back up my iPod. I don't want it to do that. And um, here's a really quick and easy way to end the backup and if the X is not working. We're going to go right-click, go to Task Manager. And we're going to go to Apple Mobile Backup. Highlight that, and we're going to hit End the Process. Yes. And the backup will automatically stop. So now you need to wait for your iPod to finish syncing. When it's done syncing, you can go ahead and close iTunes. Now you are going to need to download something. I'll provide a link for you in the video description. It is a rapid share link, something that will look like this. I'm just going to copy that. And it is the Morphe version 2 of QuickPone. And it, it was modded to work with 2.1. And um, uh, the response from it is, uh, has been very good. It has been uh, very useful and uh, not that many uh, problems with it. So I'm just going to paste the link to my address bar. And now we're going to hit free user or premium user if you uh, paid for this. And I'm just going to speed up the time here a little. Okay, that's about right. Um, now what we're going to do is uh, we're going to start the download. So uh, a sphere should pop up just like that. We're going to hit download. Start that download. And um, this is going to take 3 minutes and 20 seconds for me at 60 kilobytes a second because I'm not a premium user so I get slow download speeds. The file size is 14.99 megabytes. So um, depending on your internet, th this might take from 1 minute to 15 or 16 minutes. So I'll be back when this is done um, to save time and not waste yours. So thanks. Okay, so the download is about to finish for me. Um, and, uh, let's just wait. Okay, so the download has finished. You can go ahead and close your browser now. Now we're going to need to open it up. It is a RAR file. You need WinRAR to extract it. I'm just going to extract it to my desktop here. Okay, so once the extraction is done, you can open up the folder that you just extracted to your desktop. So we're just going to double click the exe file, the executable file. It's called QuickPone and it has the picture of a uh, pineapple on it. And there it is. I'm just going to choose iPod Touch here. We're going to hit next now. Now, uh, we're just going to need to browse to the 2.1 firmware. And if you don't know where to download it, you can just get it from iTunes. And once you get it from iTunes, it will be located in my computer. And now you're going to need to go to, once you're in my computer, go to Tools, Folder Options, View, and we're going to show, and make sure Show Hidden Files and Folders is um, marked. So um, we're going to hit Apply to that and hit OK. So the firmware will be located in Local Disk C, or whatever hard drive that you keep iTunes stuff in, Documents and Settings, Your Username, Application Data, Apple Computer, iTunes and iPod software updates. So there's 2.1 right there, and uh, we're just going to browse to there. So just remember that path, and uh, you just just enter in iTunes. I mean in QuickPone. So we're going to go to browse. Now we're going to go to my computer. Local to C documents and settings. Your username. Application data. Apple computer iTunes, iPod software updates, 
and there's 2.1. Make sure you do not choose 2.0.1, just 2.1. And the tag behind it is 5F137. And uh, we're just going to hit open there. Quick Pwn is going to check to make sure it's legit. Okay, so Quick Pwn has determined that it is legit straight from Apple. We're going to hit the blue arrow to go to next. And uh, you can go ahead, just don't hit replace bootloads. No, that does not work with 2.1. But I'm just going to add Cydia because installer um, is a little buggy and will mess up your iPod on 2.1. We're going to hit next again. And now it says you have to. Okay, so now make sure your iPod is connected. And um, Quick Phone will automatically close any iTunes and Apple processes for you. We're going to now hit next. And it will do everything for you. Your iPod should um, go into restore mode. Okay, now hold down the home button for th for three seconds, five seconds. Hold down the home and power button together for ten seconds. And now keep on holding the home button while releasing the power button. This can get a little tricky, so just do it again. And there it is. Um, your iPod will be detected in DFU mode. And uh, quick phone will jailbreak it for you. Um, the cus the default boot logo will be the silver pineapple, and that's pretty much it. So that's how you'd use quick on the 2.1 firmware, and it will be once your iPod reboots, it will be jailbroken. And um, so thanks for watching, and uh, if this video helped you, please um, at least rate or favorite or subscribe if you like my videos. Um, I make at least two videos a week, so um, you should go ahead and subscribe. If you need any help, just put it in the comments below. And um, if uh, comments don't get to me, then uh, you can just go ahead and PM me. So uh, that's it. So thanks for watching, and um, that's it. Goodbye.